So Google Cloud has a, a suite of geospatially enabled products. So BigQuery, very good at vector data analysis, Earth Engine for raster, Vertex AI for notebooks and ML ops, and then the Google Maps platform. And so these are all available inside of Google Cloud. So each of them is differentiated in, own, in their own right. And together they make a suite that's very, very unique. As I was just describing, um, Google focuses on making infrastructure, right? So the storage for these products that I just mentioned, the compute, how to make them work really well, how to give them geospatial support. The thing that Cardo's been really fantastic is adding a layer of specialized functionality on top of our base capabilities. And you know, you know, the workflows tool that Cardo launched today is a really good example of that. You had something to do with that, didn't you? A little bit, yeah. I mean, so, so workflows is, is a vision that I think uh, I've just had for a while because when Google builds things, we build them to scale. And we think about scale at a planetary scale to massive amounts of data. And that can be intimidating for uh, somebody that's been a spatial analyst or a GIS analyst for all their career because we show them how it works and it's, you got to go in and get really dirty, write all these lines of code. And if you're used to thinking spatially, but you have a wizard or some sort of a workflow that you can just visually put together, um, that's a total game changer versus having to go and write that code yourself. So I, I look at this as a, a massive enabler and bringing everybody to the party to be able to do this planetary scale analysis with a couple of clicks. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, and I just want to add, like, you know, this, the, the workflows tool was presented here in a geospatial context, right? But any workflow, you know, is going to have 10 steps. Two of them will be geospatial and the other eight will just be like cleaning commas out where there should be periods or kind of like mundane ETL or data cleansing jobs. And so workflows is valuable in both like geospatial workflows and non-geospatial workflows.